the 17th and 18th centuries, the Kitakami River on the island of Honshu was one of the most important transport arteries. During the Edo period, a time when Japan isolated itself from external influences and helped shape the nation's identity, the river was used to transport rice, grown abundantly in the Kitakami Valley to the heart of the country. It's no coincidence that this name was given to one of the Kuma-class light cruisers built in Japan after World War I. By the beginning of World War II, Kitakami, considered one of the most successful and fastest ships of her time, was already quite old by warship standards. To compensate for this, an extensive overhaul was carried out in 1941, and as many as 10 610mm quadruple tube torpedo launchers were installed. After that, the ship was modernized further on a couple of occasions, but in World of Warships, she's exactly how she was in the initial stage of the war in the Pacific. It is my pleasure to introduce Tier 10 torpedo cruiser, Kitakami. The ship is equipped with four 140mm main battery guns with a quick reload, short firing range, and low damage. But, of course, Kitakami's most fearsome armament is her 10 quadruple tube torpedo launchers, five on each side, for a total of 40 tubes when fully loaded. The main feature of the ship is that she carries two completely different types of torpedoes that commanders can switch between while in battle. The deep water torpedoes have a long range, high damage, and low detectability. They are a deadly peril for enemy battleships and aircraft carriers. The second option is standard torpedoes with low damage and medium range, but high speed. It is this choice that will dictate her combat tactics. Her optimal play style utilizes her incredibly stealthy detection range to spot opposing ships and destroy them with torpedoes from a safe distance. Her legendary arsenal of torpedoes, combined with high speed, good maneuverability, and excellent concealment, give the cruiser a solid advantage in deciding how and when to engage enemies. By using the exhaust smoke generator and engine boost consumables, Kitakami can easily take up advantageous positions in battle to maximize her effectiveness. Now, a word of caution about getting too close to your targets, especially if they are destroyers. If they spot you first, you're in trouble. Testing your own endurance under prolonged enemy fire isn't the best idea. The ship has a small HP pool and weak armor. While the repair party consumable should help her hold out for some time, it's still better to escape potentially unfavorable situations as soon as they present themselves. Another important quality when fighting battles at the helm of Kitakami is patience. Her torpedoes have a reloading mechanism similar to that used on submarines, one rack at a time for each side of the ship, not all tubes simultaneously. Her torpedoes can be launched continuously as they reload, or you can accumulate them over a long period of time and then stun the enemy with an overwhelming and devastating salvo. The choice is up to you. Now, let's move on to upgrades. We recommend the following. Main Armaments Modification 1. Engine Room Protection. Torpedo Tubes Modification 1. Steering Gears Modification 1. Concealment System Modification 1. Torpedo Tubes Modification 2. It's time for the traditional Armada giveaway. This time, Captains, you could receive a kit at... No, I'm just kidding. A premium ship tier nine container. It will go to one of our subscribers who likes the video and leaves a comment with their nickname, Game Server, and the correct answer to the following question. How many total torpedo tubes does Kitakami have? We'll announce the name of the winner in the next Armada episode. Good luck, and may you enjoy many victories, Captains.